Hi, this is Mrs. Clark, and I'm going to show you how to code this snowman for winter. And you can watch this video if you're coding something else, and it'll still teach you how. But if you click on the link, you can get this snowman and code along with me. And I also have a link for the whole winter set that you can get as well. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you want to make sure that your pixel art is set to 75% so that you can see everything. Next, I am going to take a look at the question and answer boxes, and I'm going to fill those out ahead of time. So you do want to put in questions that are very straightforward and have a solid answer, like a number or a one word answer that's easy for people to type in. The way you type is you just click and start typing. So go ahead and fill in your questions and your answers. Okay, I have my questions and answers and I'm ready to start coding. You are going to be coding these boxes here. We're not going to use these ones at all. You're going to code so that if someone puts, for example, a nine in this box, it'll turn a certain color and turn this, those colors this box and then this box and then this box. To do that we have to know the name of these boxes. Every box in a spreadsheet has a name. You name a box by the column and the row. This box is in column B and it is in rows 4, 5, 6, and 7 but to name it we use the first one which is 4. Therefore this box is called B4. This box is called B8 this box is B12. The second thing we need to do is tell the computer what color we want it to turn. So we have like a dark blue, a regular blue, a light blue, a couple reds, etc. And then we need to tell the computer what the answer is, such as 9, 10, cows, 79, because that's the number that should activate the code. This down here is the custom formula that you're going to use. It is the code. So I suggest writing this down. It is equal sign dollar sign column dollar sign row equals answer. So for example, for our first box, um, when it says column and row, that's just the name of the box. So we would say equals dollar sign B dollar sign four equals nine. And that's the code. So we're gonna go ahead and start coding. I'm going to open up the coding window now. So to do that, I click on Format, Conditional Formatting. Now, before I start coding, I'm actually going to pick the color I want to do. I wanna do that light blue in here, but I don't actually know how to find it in the paint bucket. So I'm gonna come off of all of this and click on it and come up to the paint bucket and just figure out where that is. So it's a custom color and it's the fourth one in. Great. Okay, let me go back to the box I'm coding, which is this nine box. Come over here to the coding window and I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm going to tell the computer what color I want it to turn, which is that blue we were just looking at. The next step is to write to the code. Come to where it says format cells if dot 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 and click. Go to the very last one custom formula is. Now I'm going to write that code. It is equals dollar sign column, which this one is B, dollar sign row, which is four, equals answer. Put in whatever the answer is to your specific question. Now the code is technically finished. Let me show you real quick. All I did is I coded so that this box, if I put a nine in it, it should turn blue. Great but I do need to bring these other little blue pieces along with it. So I'm not technically finished, but the code does work. That last step then is to add in the light blue from the snowman. To do that, we come up here where it says apply to range. It already has the B4 through B7, which is our nine box. I'm going to click on this button so that I can add more. Scoot this over. Then I'm going to select all of these light blues, but first I have to hold down the control button. If you don't do that, when you click on something, it'll deselect the nine box and you'll lose stuff that you already clicked on. So hold down control, or if you have a Mac, 
hold down Command, and that will keep everything I've already clicked while I'm clicking the next ones. As you can see, as I click, it's adding to the range in that little window. So it's adding all of these to the code. If you accidentally click on something that you didn't mean to like this, just click on it again and it will deselect it. Okay, I've selected all of these and now I'm going to lift up on the control button and I need to do three things. The first thing I need to do is click OK on the range. Then I need to click Done on the code. And then I need to come up to the paint bucket and click Reset. That part is really important. Those are my three steps. Now I'm going to test it out. So click off of it so it's not all selected anymore. Come up to this box and you can see that the code is, is there. Delete the nine and those disappear. Put it back in and they come back. So we're going to keep going. We'll do 10 next and I am going to do the darker of those two reds. So first let me find that color and see where it is. It is the third one in. Now I'm going to go back to this box. I want to make sure that I'm not coding this box. I have to code the answer box. And you can see over there on the right that there aren't any rules yet, which is great. If I go up one, you can see the code I wrote for the last one. So we're going to click and click add another rule. And now we'll do those steps again. So first I'll start at the bottom and set the color. I want it to turn this shade of red. Now I'm going to write the code using the name of that 10 box. So it is equals dollar sign column, and it's in column B, dollar sign eight. Equals, and then here's where you put in the specific answer that you wrote for your question. Now that box is coded, but I wanna bring along the reds from the snowman. So I click on range, scoot this over, hold down control or command and click on all the reds that are in the snowman. Now I let go of the command or control button and I hit three things. I'm going to do okay on the range, done on the code and reset the paint bucket. Click off of it come back on and delete it. And now you can check both of them. Uh, notice that I put 10 in, but the red's not showing. You have to click off of it before the code will activate. It's looking great so far. I do wanna make sure though that I delete the nine and the 10 because otherwise I might double click things. And I wanna make sure that I know um, what I've done and what I haven't done. I'm going to do the next one and notice that the answer is a word instead of a number. That is a little bit different. So we're going to give that a try. I am going to do the dark blue and I definitely want to click on it and make sure I can find it up here. It is second from the right in the custom colors. Now I come back to the box that I'm coding and click on add another rule. I'm going to find that dark blue and now I'm going to click on custom formula is and write my code. Here's what it would normally look like. Equals dollar sign B dollar sign 12, that's the column and row, equals cows, that's the answer, it's cows. But since it's not a number, you have to put quotation marks around it. If your answer is a word, put it in quotes. And now you can see that it turned blue, which means the code worked. Now I'm going to click on range and add in all of those dark blues. Hold down control and select all of the dark blues. Lift up on control and do your three steps. Hit OK on the range, done on the code, reset on the paint bucket. Let's click off of it, come on and delete it, come in and test it. So I can see the three codes that I've written so far. And now we're going to keep going. I'm going to do this dark brown. So again, let me click and make sure I know where to find it. It's the fifth one in. Click back on the box you're actually coding and we'll come on in. 
I want to show you something. If I turn this box a dark color, like dark brown or black, I like to also change the font to white, the text color, so that we can actually see it. Now my formula is equals dollar sign B dollar sign 16 equals 79. Now I click on range, slide this over, hold down control and select all of these dark browns. Lift up on control, check that that 79 box is still selected. And now I do my three steps. I hit OK on the range, done on the code, and reset the paint bucket. All right, I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna go a little bit faster now. Okay, here is what it looks like when we're finished, but let's go ahead and test it out. There's our snowman. So one thing that I want to tell you, let's close this window, is that before you give this to somebody to try, you want to delete the answers and then it's also a good idea to make a copy of it because this one sometimes it will show the person the snowman really quick and ruin the surprise if you were just filling it in and out so i always make a copy and then i give people the copy instead so i hope this is helpful for you and i'm excited to see what you make if you click on the link you can get this snowman and you can also get all of the other winter pixel arts as well.